Today's the first day of this mock terrorist attack, and they kicked it off with a bang. It took two years of planning. It's top off three, a $16 million mock terrorist attack to test how our federal, state, and local emergency responders respond. They're in the investigative phase, the, the size up phase. The New London Fire Department is doing a wonderful job in uh, uh, showing the, the personal restraint that a fire department has to have in coming into an incident where a large number of people are either injured or contaminated. This simulated attack began with an explosion in the Fort Trumbull neighborhood to be followed by the release of chemical agents into the air. Officials tell Eyewitness News the drill consists of 1,400 players, some of whom are cast in roles as victims, others as first responders, some even as terrorists. Since 9-11, many people and officials have been wondering how well prepared this port will be in case of an attack. Today will be the test for emergency crews in and around New London. According to the recent intelligence report released by the Presidential Commission, our intelligence community is weak. We have to practice for uh, a disaster whether we want to or not. All 34 of the Connecticut acute care hospitals, like Lawrence Memorial, took an active role in the drill, as well as dozens of state and regional mass decontamination volunteers, because they are dealing with chemical agents. These simulated attacks are not only unfolding in New London, but they're also taking place in New Jersey, Canada, and Great Britain. We want to prevent another 9-11. That's our goal. Everything seems to be running smoothly, as you can see behind me, but they still have three nights and three days left of this mock exercise, and officials are hoping the outcome will strengthen our weaknesses. In New London, Elaine Irvin, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.